suboptimal preliminary. Serizawa, Borges Carnero, Debra and Beatriz, Alonso, Leonhardt, Van Rijsvek, Fides and Lindbergh. And straight into the pool, really deep with the streamline and underwater. And while Fides broke water relatively early, getting into her stroke, she's looking good here in terms of settling into her stroke. And the high action of Alonso in the middle of the pool now, looking to eke out a lead, heading up toward the 50. Yeah, and Alonso, she has that great early speed where Alonso sometimes struggles, is coming in that second half. So it's unsurprising that she's out very fast. So looking to uh, take a big advantage at the wall at 50. It is Alonso who turns in 33.65. Fittis is uh, as close as anyone is going to get. That they are good two seconds behind Alonso, and she's got a good body length and a half ahead of her, but the battle for silver and bronze is going to be epic. There are two Brazilians, two Australians, and Luis Fittis battling for two medals. Yeah, and Luis Fittis, she does typically, she's got great closing speed, and here you see her right now pulling away from the rest of the field. She's a phenomenal finisher. Well, it is Alonso who's going to successfully defend her title. Is she going to break the world record in the process as well? The 27-year-old from Tenerife comes into the wall in world record time. It's a treble. London, Rio, and now Tokyo. Fittis touches for the bronze. And it is Beatriz Borges Carnero who out-touches her twin sister, Deborah, at the wall to claim a brilliant bronze for Brazil. But Alonso has done it. An inspiring individual with an inspirational swim. Luis Fittis, just 20 years old, the reigning world champion, will be delighted with this swim. Alonso, though, is celebrating what is a massive achievement. And to do it in such stunning fashion. And Alonso getting massive congratulations from the Borges Carnero twins. The Beatriz with the bronze after Luis Fides claimed silver. Difficult to separate them, but it is Beatriz with the bronze. And Deborah. Deborah was just two hundredths of a second behind her sister in fourth. Wow, I mean, look at Alonzo Morales. She attacked the first 50. She went out very quickly for her. She went out in 33.65. So you knew immediately at the wall that this was going to be something special. And just to talk about Luis Vitas, I mean, she was right with the rest of the pack at the second, at the first 50, but she had a great finish. That's right. She actually touched fifth at the wall. They were all up in a line. She touched fifth, however, at the wall and came home second, but Alonzo. I mean, that is, that is special, absolutely special. And she started in the women's 200 free, expecting to challenge for a medal and finished eighth. But in her favorite event, she has gone and done what she's done in London and Rio, and that is to take the title. And she's done it in world record time as well, dipping below her own world record by over half a second. A 1.12.02, what a grand swim for a grand champion.